It's a football discussion here on our Twitter chat this week. And just to remind you that you can contact Twitter at League Sunday RTE. That's where you will find us. Well, this week, to answer your questions, we have in studio Kevin McStay and Tomas O'Shea. Gentlemen, you're very welcome indeed. So let's crack into these questions. Some very good ones for you this week. And the first one, Kevin, I might put this to you first uh, because it raises an interesting point. This is from Joseph Page. And he says, why do so many brilliant under-21 sites from uh, teams and counties that aren't recognised as bigger counties, why do they not progress? Yeah, I was thinking about that. I, I'm, not, I'm not so sure that's true. Because... Uh, I well, think look, at, look at, for instance, Cavan have won the Ulster Under-21 for the last four years, is it? Yeah, but, but we don't... The, the jury is out yet. Well, you, fair enough. Yeah, okay. you know, I mean, they may come. Yes. Uh, the style they play, I don't particularly think they will, unless they change it a wee bit around. But like, if you look, you're like, say, Leash, uh, Westmeath... Like they all went on to win senior provincials that they had, they had never won before or mm. hadn't won for a long, long time. Uh, Galway at the moment. But again, the jury is out on that. They're only young for They're only 22, 23. They may come yet. Uh, you know, uh, Galway I, actually did win an All-Ireland on the foot of... Well, yes, a part of Joyce's team. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, uh, so I would say there's a greater link to doing very well out of it for all counties, you know, whether it's mm. uh, provincial or the bigger counties that win them they do tend to go on to win all Ireland's, you know. Yeah, uh, but that's, that's I suppose, to most the, the, the kernel of uh, Joseph Page's point, that for sure, like, counties like Galway and Kerry and so far have gone on, but some of the other counties haven't, maybe. No, I think sometimes, Michael, if a, a, a so-called weaker team, if they win an all Ireland in 21, they're suddenly heroes in their own county, there's suddenly a lot mm. of pressure on them to perform. Mm. These lads are young fellas, they're going to college, it's easy to get sidetracked as well. Uh, I think sometimes that has an, a, a bearing on things. Uh, sometimes you say, whatever happened to this such and such yes. player, whatever happened, and mm. at 23, 24, his career is over. Sometimes, yeah. not all the time. Uh, in Kerry, always, we, we, you'd always look for three or four out of the under 21s that would go into the senior setup. If you ever look back at old photographs of, of uh, old under 21 teams, you'd pick out eight or nine fellas that made it a senior level mm. after. But, uh, and also another factor could be that sometimes these, there's too much pressure on them because maybe the older lads on the senior teams don't have the football or don't have the ability to carry these young fellas on mm. the way they should, mm. you know? So sure. I think there's a mixture of things why it doesn't happen, but... Um, it's a better base in the bigger counties for you yeah. to join. You know, they'll have a few of the old soldiers still around exactly, the place. Yeah. I think the point that Tomás is making is a very true point because there's a number of managers and fellas in counties who would say that to you, that they just kind of lost the run themselves yeah. after winning as yeah. underage. Yeah. But anyway, true, yeah. another question, and uh, Tomás or Shea, I might put this to you first. First, because this is one that's, that I'm actually trying to think back in Scranton. I presume uh, Johnny Jordan, who poses the question, is correct. He says, um, I'm a big admirer of Colin Cooper, but I'm wondering how come he never won Footballer of the Year? I, uh, it's a tough one. It's, um, Colin was obviously one of the greatest footballers that's ever played the game. Um, I actually won it in 2004, so I can explain to you that's why the, that, I, that I didn't. Year, that, yes. That's how you recovered, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm only joking. Um, no, it's, 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 I suppose normally Football of the Year traditionally goes to the team that win. Mm. And every year we had, we had Donaghy won it one year, Mark, my brother won it another year, yeah. Paul Galvin won it another year. Um, and to be fair, nobody could have argued if the Gooch had won on either of those years, mm. you know. So it's a difficult one. It's, it's one that could be argued all the time, but... And, Who knows? and at the end of the day, you can only pick one for you the year. You can only pick one, yeah. yeah. And, and like, I mean, you, Dara O'Shea didn't make it uh, as a yeah. footballer. Yeah, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. That Gooch didn't make it was, I was sure he had. So that shows you how good he was for, for, for how long sure. he, 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 he kept that standard. Declan O'Sullivan didn't win it. Yeah. You know, yeah. It goes on and on and on. But uh, it's an, an incredible award to get because you have to be so consistent. Oh, the, sure. The Gooch has been, yeah. but uh, just the way they fell. Well, I suppose... Colin has the All-Ireland medals and the All-Star, yes. so that'll do for the moment. Porrick Stack poses a question. Uh, do you think that Dublin will dominate in football and hurling, he says, uh, by the way, uh, in the future? And can the GEA address this? I'm not quite sure if yeah, Dublin necessarily want to address it. But I, and, and I'm not sure why the GEA... And there's this assumption that Dublin yeah. are going to win everything now in, in football well, for the next few years. That's, that is out there. Mm. Uh, I think it might be a lazy enough assumption. Because the truth of it is, it rarely happens. I mean, Kerry don't dominate forever. Yes. Uh, even though they have a fantastic tradition and, and, and great players, generally speaking. It comes and goes in cycles that certainly haven't started to dominate in the hurling. There's a bit of work to do there yet. <laughs> There's a team called Kilkenny in the same province yeah. as them. Uh, on the football front, at under 21 and minor level, they haven't quite dominated, really. Mm. 
over the last six, seven years, it, although it is pointing in that direction. At senior level, I think it's eight out of nine I read recently in Leinster. So that is yeah. domination for sure. And what, can, what can they do about it? What, your, what, what, like, what, what, exactly. what would you want to have to do Correct. about it? That'd be unfair if you... Why do you do handicap them? Croke, <laughs> Croke Park, full when Dublin are playing. Happy days yeah. for the GEA. Uh, and I suppose this is the thing that, you know, because Dublin won the All-Ireland last year and they have this young team, there's no doubt about that and they look like they have the potential. Everybody knows, you've talked to anybody, they say, oh, Dublin going to dominate for the next five or six years. Definitely. You'd always I have... I presume you have something to say that, about that down in Kerry. Ah, well, hopefully. I'd always put the emphasis on, on underage and grassroots and maybe the GA will help out around the country. I mean, Dublin, to be fair to them, have, have had a great attitude towards that in the last 10 years in both hurling and football. And anybody you talk to would say that they are sports that are kind of surpassing rugby and even soccer. So Dublin have put in a real, real great effort. I don't think the GA can stop what sponsorship Dublin get or put a cap on it or anything like that. I, I don't think so, but yes. uh, I, I think, to be fair to Dublin, they've put in a pile of, pile of work. Uh, other counties mightn't have the same resources, but, you know, I, I suppose the GA could do something about funneling out their money. Yeah. I mean, the GA are doing well at the moment as well, you know? Sure. All right. Very quick one just to finish off for Kevin McStay. Uh, this comes from a uh, chap called Rory McCann. And Rory is out in Dubai and he says he's with two of your former St. Bridget's players out there, uh, Owen Sheehy and Peter Domican. And he's wondering how much was common are missing those guys and basically should they be brought back? <laughs> the light on the beach probably. Uh, maybe he's just trying to get rid of them. Yeah. <laughs> well, Peter, Peter was a proven player, super uh, county player, great great player for us uh, the year we were successful, as was as was Owen. Mm. Owen. Owen hadn't made it at county level at that stage, but I've no doubt he'd have been knocking yeah. on the door if he stayed around. But look, it's just the way the country is. People are looking for, for a bit of work and also a bit of adventure. And they were on the go with Bridget's for three or four years, so they were having full seasons. I suppose they just got tired and wanted to take sure. a break, and they're well entitled to that too. They certainly are, and I can tell you there's a very lively GEA scene out in Dubai and Abu Dhabi and places like that as well. All right, uh, thank you very much indeed for your questions. Thanks to Kevin McStay and to Tomas O'Shea for the answers that they have provided provided to them and a reminder to you once again that if you want to contact us it is at League Sunday RTE